Hi, uh, bonjour uh, from uh, uh, Marseille, Hôpital Timon. Uh, my name is Jafar Gorzarian. I am an interventional radiologist and co-founder of the North Star Vascular Interventional in Minneapolis. And it's my pleasure and honor to be in Marseille with uh, Professor Vincent Vidal. Bonjour, Vincent. Bonjour, Jafar. <laughs> Um, for those who don't know, Vincent is the father of hemorrhoid embolization and um, I would like to ask Vincent, uh, you are an innovator, tell me how this idea of uh, hemorrhoid embolization came to your mind. Finally, the, the concept was very simple because the surgeon was doing the ligations of the artery just above the hemorrhoids, but they do that inside the rectum. So the idea was simple, just to come from the vessel and block the vessel. That's the procedure we do for prostate embolization, so for fibroid embolization. So we do the same ligations, but instead of coming from the rectum, we come from the groin here inside the vessel. Of course, no one wants to have a, a treatment uh, via rectum uh, or a urethra for the same uh, reason uh, for prostate embolization. So uh, tell, tell us a little bit about hemorrhoids for our patients who may or not be familiar with them. So there is two types of hemorrhoids, external and internal. So external, it's, it's only a vein and normally it's not painful, it can lead to a, a thrombosis and the treatment is only surgical incisions. So the main symptom comes from internal hemorrhoids and usually it's bleeding. So it can bleed so much that the patients can have anemia and transfusions. And sometimes there is no prolapse, there is only the bleedings. So the patients do not complain about hemorrhoids, but finally yes, some bleeding. So, um, so the patient with internal hemorrhoids that are bleeding are the uh, best candidate and the patient who may have bleeding and prolapses of the uh, fibroid. But the best candidate is the patients who are bleeding. But also when you do embolizations, you will decrease the size of hemorrhoids, so you are going to decrease the prolapse. All right. If the patients come only for the prolapse, normally it will not be enough to do embolizations. Yes. But it works on both. All right. So um, tell us a little bit more about the technique. Uh, how do you perform the procedure? So it takes around one hour. We are here in this room. The patients lie down here. It's under local anesthesia. We do a small puncture here in the groin, one millimeter of diameter, very thin uh, catheters. And with the catheter, we go inside the vessel, just upper the hemorrhage, insert a small coil, it's a metal expire, or a small sphere of 700 microns, and it blocks the, the arteries. So the patients, it's an outpatient procedure, after the patients can go to toilet, have the motion, there is no diet, no treatment, and the patients can go back to work just the day after. So um, that's, that's actually really amazing because it's an outpatient procedure and the patient is awake, no general anesthesia, and uh, so you go, you do everything through the artery, and uh, the expectation for the patient after the procedure, uh, what do they expect to see? Uh, there is around 80% of uh, satisfaction. That means that the, the patients are happy with the decreasing of the symptoms. Sometimes it's not 100% of decreasing of the symptoms, but the patients are happy because they, they are very, they feel very well. There is still 20% of non-responder, but you can redo, you can do another embolization to obtain a good uh, clinical result. So 80% success rate is pretty good. Uh, how does that compare to the surgical alternative uh, such as uh, ligation or bandage? Yeah, for, for ligation, which is almost the same technique but via the rectum, it's around 30% of recurrence at one month, at one year. 30%? Yeah, for rubber band ligations, it's around 50% of recurrence at one year. And for the surgical complete intervention, uh, there is less recurrence, of course, but it's a couple of weeks uh, for recovery. So the patient may not see an improvement the first week, but then little by little it will improve. Yeah, sometimes patients said, okay, the first, first week, sometimes I have more bleeding. It's not the most often, but sometimes. And <clears throat> clearly they will improve for three, three months. So it's at three months. That we, and 
Anyway, if they are not cured by the embolizations, will not get the way to surgery, to conventional surgery. So it's a good also uh, proof treatment uh, for the beginning of illness. And it's become more and more popular across the world. And how did it feel to be an innovator of a procedure that now a lot of centers offer? I'm very happy that it can help patients, you know. So we have begun uh, 10 years ago, and finally there is a treatment everywhere in the state, but in Europe, in Asia. So of course I'm, I'm very you're happy with that. You should be proud and I am very proud to, uh, to know you and be a good friend of uh, um, myself, guest meeting, North Star. Any uh, last word to patient recommendations? Uh, if you leave, go to North Star and <laughs> <laughs> see Professor Goldsire. Thank you so much, Jasper. Yeah, Great. very welcome. Thank you.